Welcome back to Amishiroi Recap. Today, I will recap Magical Warfare. The story begins with a student named Takeshi Nanasi going to school with his girlfriend, Kirumi. When he wanted to do the exercises, he suddenly found another girl lying in front of the door. Takeshi helped her and took her to the school medical room. The girl named Mui suddenly hugged Takeshi while begging him not to leave her. When she woke up, she was surprised and attacked Takeshi. Takeshi tried to explain what happened. But the situation became more complicated when Mui fell and accidentally kissed Takeshi. <laughs> the incident brought a problem because Takeshi had been exposed to magic, so he became a magician. Then comes a group of people who want to catch Mui. One of them is Mui's older brother, Suganashi. Takeshi gets involved in a fight between magicians. As a kendo martial arts school member, Takeshi intends to fight witches using a bamboo sword. Even though he only uses a bamboo sword, his abilities cannot be underestimated. He manages to make his opponent difficult. <laughs> When his bamboo sword was broken, his magic power suddenly rose. He can predict the opponent's movements when he is about to attack him. So Takeshi could use that opportunity to escape from them. Knowing that Takeshi has become a magic user due to her actions, Mui apologizes. Mui explains the existence of witches. Since time immemorial, many people have been afraid of witches. So the witches decided to hide and keep their power a secret but some disagreed with that decision, causing conflict between fellow magic users. Then the previous person approached them. Kirumi was also there and got her involved in the fight. Because a magic attack hit Kirumi, she became a witch. She was surprised to see her boobs growing. Nui said it was transformation magic. Even Takeshi's friend, Kazumi, becomes a magician and acquires destructive magic powers. To protect his girlfriend and friends, Takeshi must quickly defeat his enemy because Takeshi can only dodge his opponent's attacks and can't attack him. Mui also helped him by shooting light magic. After that, Mui had no choice but to bring them to the world of witches. So far, another world is separated from their lives, namely the world inhabited by magicians, called the Destroyed World. After curing the poison in Kirumi's body using magic, they met the headmaster named Momoka. They were surprised because she looked like a student. Momoka explains that 16 years ago, there was a war between magicians. A wizard with extraordinary powers leads the ghost trailer in an attempt to wipe out all of humanity using the last requiem. But the 15 great magicians who fought against him joined forces and divided the world into two parts. The living world was spared from the disaster, while the other was destroyed. After that incident, the magicians made a pact to continue the war on the ruined world. Because Takeshi and the others have become magicians, Momoka gives them two options. Live in Subaru Academy and learn how to use magic. Or return to the world of the living by giving up his magical power. Takeshi chose to stay there. Kazumi decides to go with him and doesn't mind despite being a magician. Kirumi will remain there even though she wants to go home. But she can't go home alone. So they will become first year high school students as magicians in class C. They must learn the basics of witchcraft, while Mui will be placed in the same class as them as punishment for her actions. Every magic user must have a unique aspect or tool that acts as a center for projecting their power. Since Takeshi has no, a teacher orders Mui to accompany Takeshi to look for aspects. A man advises Takeshi to use a magic sword with a unique ability. Suddenly the man attacks Takeshi causing him to activate his power. After his power was activated unexpectedly, he was highly compatible with that sword. So Takeshi decided to use a magic sword named Twilight. They started basic training before and after school every day. Takeshi and Kazumi practiced controlling magic power. Meanwhile, Kirumi used transformation magic to become a sexy girl, and it caught the attention of the male students. <laughs> Since Mui got two magical girl fortune-telling tickets, she gave one to Kirumi. Kirumi was very interested in love fortune-telling, so she accepted the ticket. Then when Takeshi arrives at the classroom, several boys are fighting over a photo of Kirumi that was taken without permission. 
Keikshi told them to stop doing it. Since she is his girlfriend, he would secure all her pictures so they don't spread. Knowing that Takeshi is dating Kurumi, Mui feels guilty for being too close to Takeshi. She apologized to Kurumi and said she accidentally kissed Takeshi when they first met. Of course, that made Kurumi shocked. She decided to meet a magical girl to predict her love story. The witch said that soon, the relationship would be more complicated. Kurumi was furious and thought that her boyfriend was having an affair. Takeshi tried to explain that it was a misunderstanding. Because Kurumi didn't want to listen to him, Takeshi asked her to stop the relationship. After all, their relationship was just pretending to be dating. After that, Kirumi no longer wanted to approach Takeshi and always ignored him. Other students already knew the news of Takeshi's breakup with Kirumi, and one of the students took the opportunity to confess his feelings to Kirumi. Kirumi immediately rejected him, but the boy didn't want to budge. Instead, he cornered her so that Kirumi was scared as if she was traumatized. Takeshi immediately came to protect her. He gave a warning so that the boy would not approach Kirumi again. Since childhood, people have recognized Kirumi's beauty during junior high school. Many boys claimed to like her, even a suspicious man bullied her and caused her to quit school. To prevent other boys from bothering her, Takeshi pretends to be her boyfriend. Takeshi didn't want Kirumi to ignore him, so they continued their relationship. Hey. <laughs> After receiving information about her brother's whereabouts from a witch, Mui decides to go to the ruined world to find him alone. Kirumi finds a suspicious note. Because Mui hasn't come home since yesterday, Kirumi also tells this to Takeshi. Takeshi intends to look for them immediately, but their teacher forbids them to go out because there is a battle outside. Even though he was banned, he still intends to look for her because Takeshi worries about Mui. Kirumi and Kazumi wouldn't let him go alone. That's why they went together to enter the broken world. On the other hand, Mui is facing her older brother, even though she is badly injured. She doesn't want to give up until her brother returns to how he used to be. Unfortunately, Suganashi doesn't remember his past and doesn't believe what Mui says. Takeshi and the others came to the place. Seeing Mui treated so harshly made Takeshi angry, and they immediately attacked him. But they are beginner magicians, so they can't control magic well yet. Even so, they fight together to beat it. Twilight's weapon has a unique ability. The user can use magic from others if he uses bullets that contain magic power. Kazumi filled the bullet with his magic power. When finished, he immediately gave it to Takeshi. So the combination attack with his friends managed to beat Suganashi. Suddenly someone named Kippei takes Tsuganashi away from there. After the fight, they returned to the academy and were scolded by the principal. The principal decides to give Mui a chance to help her older brother, but all will be considered based on her performance during the exam. The exam started with evasion magic. The students entered a city made with illusion magic. The goal is to assess how far they can reach the largest building. When the exam begins, one by one, the obstacles are successfully overcome, while students who are directly hit will be expelled from the exam. Then he met Oigami. He was surprised because Oigami became a test taker. Oigami says that he doesn't recognize Takeshi. It turns out that the principal has changed his memory. So Oigami sided with the Subaru Academy. At the same time, someone used black magic, which caused all the students to teleport to one place and fall from a great height. Even a stone monster attacked the students. Oigami, who had attacked Kirumi in the past, now saved her and defeated the monster. Of course, Kirumi felt astonished and asked him many things. Unfortunately, he was injured and deemed to have failed the test. After that, Takeshi and the others worked together to get through the labyrinth to the biggest building. But golems intercepted them. Ordinary magic attacks didn't work. Besides having a troublesome defense, the golem's attacks were also powerful. So Takeshi decided to use Kazumi's fire magic. Before that, he asked his friends to distract the golem. At the last moment, Takeshi launches a powerful attack and defeats the golem. A few months later, Takeshi and Mui train together in winter, and suddenly, Mui is acting strange. Knowing Mui has a fever, Takeshi immediately takes her to the girl's dormitory. Takeshi intends to leave there, but Mui asks him to stay with her. Mui also took off her bra and hugged Takeshi so tenderly that she fell asleep. <laughs> 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 
Chirumi became very angry and threw them out of the dormitory. Then she cried alone, even though they only pretended to be dating. But actually, Kirumi had feelings for Takeshi. Due to their excellent test results, Takeshi and the others can save Mui's brother. Meanwhile, the principal also has other matters to attend to, so they must carry out the mission to return Suganashi. Before leaving, Momoka gave her a particular bullet. With that bullet, Mui could save her brother without hurting him. They entered the portal to the destroyed world, and in that mission they exchanged hostages. Oigami will be returned to the ghost trailer in exchange for Tsuganashi. Oigami also realizes that his memory has been erased. Before leaving, Kurumi thanks him for saving her. Then Oigami gives something to Kurumi and advises her to become stronger. After the exchange is complete, Momoka will fight Kippei elsewhere. Kippei has destructive power just by looking at his opponent. Momoka must kill Kippe immediately because, over time, her body continues to damage. Momoka launched a lethal attack, creating a room and trapping him there. But at the last moment, Kippe managed to destroy the room. Momoka uses all of her power to open space. While Momoka almost lost consciousness, luckily, a car was sucked into Kippe, and he was also sucked into space. On the other hand, Takeshi Mui and Kazumi are trying to get Suganashi back. Mui said she just wanted her brother to smile happily. Hearing these words, Suganashi subconsciously shed tears and remembered his sister again. They used the opportunity to use the special bullet to lock away the magic that had corrupted her brother's memory. The next day, Mui was pleased because her brother was back to normal, while Momoka managed to survive even though she was seriously injured and had to rest for a month. Suganashi trains Takeshi and the others so they can get stronger and control their magic power well. However, in the last few days, Takeshi has had nightmares. In his dream, he saw an incident happen to his friends. Takeshi was confused because the dream occurred in the real world. Most likely, it happened due to the influence of magic, so Tsuganashi also advised him to consult the school. The next day Takeshi and the others visited Mui, whose leg was injured. Suddenly, Takeshi felt so dizzy that he lost consciousness. When he woke up in the school medical room, the teacher thought Takeshi was exhausted due to lack of sleep. But he is exhausted because Twilight sucks his magic power and shows the future through nightmares. If left unchecked, Takeshi's magic power will run out to cause death. Momoka solves this problem. Takeshi must fight against Twilight who takes the form of a girl in a dream world. Doing that is, of course, not easy to prevent unwanted things. Momoka will watch over him, and Mui enters the dream world to help him. After entering the dream world, they explored it until they met Twilight. She said that Takeshi didn't deserve to control her. Then she started attacking with the Wizard Slayer weapon. The weapon could absorb the magic power of the magicians around it and launch a powerful attack. Then Takeshi realized something important. He apologized to Twilight for not realizing her wish. All Takeshi could do was give it a name or, in other words, give it its existence value. Takeshi named her Toa, and he managed to melt her heart, so that a good relationship between Takeshi and his sword can be formed. And Takeshi becomes the true owner of Twilight. When spring arrives, the Subaru Academy accepts new students. Kazumi has a younger sister named Futaba. He accompanies his sister to enroll in the Subaru Academy because she has become a witch too. Besides that, Takeshi's younger brother, Geku, also explains that he wants to learn to be a magician. Takeshi and Geku had problems. Takeshi accidentally pushed him and got hit by a car. As a result of that, Geku thought that Takeshi intended to kill him and had always ignored it until now. But since Geku entered the Subaru Academy, he began to change. He apologized to Takeshi and admitted all his mistakes. However, a teacher realized something was wrong between them, so he advised Takeshi to be careful. At night, Kippe, who is still alive, meets Takeshi. He tells the history of wizards. The leader of Ghost Trailer is named Kazuma. He is a student of the Subaru Academy. Because he has strong power, the higher-ups of the Wizard Brace organization want to use him as a tool for warfare. Kazuma refused this, but they still forced and took Kazuma's parents hostage. Liberate.
の響きをつけ。レクイアム After that incident, Kazuma's parents were found dead. Then Kazuma started a rebellion with the wizard brace and founded the ghost trailer, which aims to save witches who are threatened like himself. At the end of the 20th century, the biggest magic war occurred for the first time. At the end of the battle, one of the great magicians, Takeshi's mother, appeared. While she was nearly killed, Kazuma's best friend, Tsukiyomi, fell in love with the girl, so he died while protecting Takeshi's mother. The strongest wizard has finally awakened, with Kazuma's awakening heralding the start of the second greatest wizarding war. While the students were in the classroom, suddenly, Takeshi felt something dangerous was about to happen. <laughs> It turned out that a wyvern appeared to attack them. Besides that, several students in disguise also started carrying out their evil plans. Takeshi and Kurumi are worried about Geku's condition, and they scatter to find him and hope that Geku will be fine. On the other hand, Momoka has just defeated an enemy directly, facing a stronger enemy. The three of them work together to defeat her by trapping her in a barrier. And rendering her unable to breathe. But the attack didn't work on Momoka, she managed to destroy her enemy's magic with black magic. One of the teachers, Violet, turned out to be a traitor who sided with the enemy. She summoned a wyvern to attack Momoka until she fainted. <laughs> Then Violet brought Momoka to headquarters because Kazuma wanted to talk to her about something. Take she manages to meet Geku. Who is on the enemy's side? Strike Vision allows Takeshi to discover that Geku is a ghost trailer wizard. Takeshi is powerful because he has evasion magic but is powerless against Geku. Geku's ability is Angel Hunt, allowing him to move anywhere quickly. Geku demands he gives up his sword and forces Kurumi to join Ghost Trailer. Knowing that his brother wanted to kill him, Takeshi used magic powers to defeat him. Geku also awakens his power and makes him have angel wings. <laughs> Ultimately, Takeshi was unconscious, and Geku carried Toa's swords with Kurumi. Then Toa gives a prophecy to Takeshi. The sign describes Geku killing his mother. Violet plans to take Takeshi away. Seeing this, Nui tries to stop her. Then some powerful magicians cornered Violet easily, so Violet decided to run away. They are fourth year students at the Magic Academy of Subaru and Wizards from Camelot. Because Takeshi was severely injured, he was treated at the hospital belonging to the Camelot Witch. After three days of fainting, Takeshi finally woke up in the treatment room and was greeted by Mui in a nurse's outfit. Takeshi was very worried about Kurumi, who Geku had brought, but Suganashi ordered him to focus on the treatment until he fully recovered. On the other hand, Kazuma gathers his subordinates to start a magic war. They will fight the magicians who oppose them and then start all over again to create a new world. With Weissman killed, a war of wizards will break out, so the living world becomes a battle of witches. Knowing this, Takeshi begged Tsuganashi to let him go home. Takeshi's mother was a great witch before, and because of that, a witch named Kasaki conveyed a message from Camelot's leadership for Takeshi to practice with his mother. Takeshi says he wants to become stronger to protect himself and his friends. Of course, to save Kurumi, and Takeshi must become a great magician. On the other hand, Kurumi, who was at the enemy base, was trying to escape from Geku. Kurumi coincidentally meets Oigami, even though his memories have returned. His memories from when he was at the academy are still there. Oigami and his friends are willing to help Kurumi get out of the ghost trailer headquarters. But getting out of there is not easy. They must go through a magic labyrinth room that changes every one hour. Kurumi also uses her ability. When she kisses someone, she can become that person. With that ability, he manages to trick Geku and tries to find a way to get out of the base. Unfortunately, her ability did not last long. When Kurumi entered the room, she suddenly ran into Kazuma. Kazuma took her to the portal. After doing a lot of practice, Takeshi's skills have improved a lot. Therefore, they intended to save Kurumi. Using Kurumi's items, they immediately teleported to the ghost trailer base. Because it was a gift from Oigami, so they met him. They have to fight him first. Kazumi and Mui beat Hotaru in that fight. While Takeshi was still fighting Oigami, now Takeshi had become stronger. He could see what would happen in the future, no matter what magic his opponent used. Takeshi easily parries the attack and manages to defeat Oigami.
Oigami provides information about Kurumi. Unfortunately, Kurumi has disappeared, and Oigami has been looking for her but can't find her. <laughs> Takeshi's nightmare has led him to return to his home. When he got there, he met Geku while covered in blood. Takeshi also asked what he did to his mother and Geku explained that his mother had made him suffer. His mother caused the accident he had before. His mother had ordered someone to kill Geku, because his mother didn't tell him why she wanted to kill him. Geku injured her but didn't kill her. Hearing that upset Takeshi, because they couldn't understand, Geku attacked him with killing intent. Takeshi also started to get serious. His movements were already faster than his younger brother, and he could read all of his actions by seeing the future. <laughs> When Takeshi and Geku fight, other magicians also join in the battle. Because Geku felt that he couldn't win against Takeshi, he used a cunning way to kill him. Geku pretends he has given up and wants to reconcile with his brother. But while Takeshi was off guard, he used his sword to stab him. At the same time, Kirumi came to save Takeshi. Unfortunately, Kirumi was seriously injured from that attack. It made Takeshi unable to control his anger. He used all his strength until it was out of control. If left unchecked, then the world will be destroyed. Therefore, Momoka used her power to separate the two of them. Takeshi and Gekko are transported to the past long before the magical war. Meanwhile, the present day which Kazuma comes to the house to heal his mother, he believes the future will change because everything is destined. To be honest, of course, you are confused about the ending of this anime. But what is certain is that Kazuma in the present is Takeshi because he kept Kirumi's photo. After being sent to the past, Takeshi will replace Kazuma who has weakened after using Last Requiem to destroy the world. Using magic power and assisted by Violet, he transformed into Kazuma and fell asleep for 16 years. The moment he got up, he started attacking the Subaru Academy to kidnap Momoka. Takeshi, in Kazuma form, explained everything to Momoka. He also asked Momoka to send Takeshi and Geku to the past during the final battle. And that is the end of the video. Remember to subscribe and like this video, so see you in the next video.